is up hope you guys are having a wonderful day got another resin reverse video for you but i'm not gonna be talking too much about reverse i'm gonna be talking about the Callisto protocol coming right around the corner and i cannot wait to jump into this game oh my god does this game look good and i'll tell you what survival horror fans are definitely happy as hell with in the next year you got Callisto protocol you got the dead space remake got resin 4 remake you got silent hill Two remake and another Silent Hill games coming out. I think Alan Wake is too. He got all these famous games coming back being remade, except for my damn Dino Crisis. Ugh, oh my God! Why can't they remake Dino Crisis? No, I'm playing. I'm not that upset, but hopefully one of these days they, they'll bring back poor Dino Crisis. But enough about that. Let's get into the Clue Through Protocol. But man, does this game look good? I remember when I first saw it. And I just thought, what, what a lot of other people thought. Oh my, this is like another Dead Space. Because you know how we got to compare everything. That's one thing I get annoyed about when everyone compares everything to everything. And they're just like, well, you know, it, it can't be that good. Because it's just taken from this. It's just taken for that. Well, if that's the case, you know, I guess you might as well hate everything at that point. Because everything takes inspiration from anything. There is no such thing as a 100% original idea. There's inspirations all over the place. And that's what any sane or smart person would do anyway. But... Over time, you know, you watch these newer trailers, especially this launch trailer that came out and other gameplay, it just, it looks so good. Like, look, the atmosphere, it's one thing I'd nail in a survival horror game, is that atmosphere. That atmosphere of just that dread, that foreboding feeling of, you know, you really don't want to push forward, but you got to. And being stuck in this prison, with this alien invasion going on, it looks like the story and the characters look cool and awesome. I just can't wait to play it. And I'll say this right now about survival horror games. Even though JRPGs are my favorite genre, survival horror games are my second, there's something about them that just, I, I, I don't know. It's like, they can do something that other genres cannot, and that's create moments that you never forget. I'll never forget playing Resident Evil 4 for the first time and having a Chainsaw Maniac bag lunch you're curious bag lunch is the name my dad gave him because he saw him in the back of my poster he's called him bag lunch so you're wondering what that is what bag lunch is he's the chainsaw maniac dr salvador but when he chainsawed me and my head flew off and it went down the gutter of the houses on top of the roof i just i'll never forget that moment as long as i live i never forget seeing the regenerator for the first time. and i'll never forget my first ever time i got scared in a game i was like 10 years old when i played the first dino crisis and the t-rex busts through the wall and i'm just like holy shit <laughs> um those moments you just never forget you remember those moments playing survival horror games and i think that genre does that better than any other genre so and hopefully in this police protocol you're gonna get more moments like that because it's so satisfying to have that it's just the fatalities we're getting killed by things in the game just looks crazy and Oh, I just can't wait to jump in, but let me guys know in the comment section, are you interested in the Callisto Protocol? Are you going to get it when it first comes out? I'm definitely going to be posting some content on my channel of Callisto Protocol. Now, whether that'll be live streaming it or playing on my own time and posting this stuff later, I don't know. I'll have to decide. Just, it's tough with my busy schedule half the time going over the place and stuff, but I definitely will be posting some content on that, so look for that in the future. And But I, I want to bring um, this to attention because... As I was playing this game, um, you know, we're about to see me get a nice shot with the crossbow soon, but a comment earlier in one of my older videos mentioned something, and it mentioned something with the, um, they're saying like the, the crossbow damage, and as you see right there, that was clearly a headshot, but it mentioned that like the crossbow damage needs to be nerfed. I was like, no, nah, I think it's fine, you know, get a headshot, but they mentioned that I forgot all about this, that the virus canisters, when you pick them up, they make you do more damage. So with Ada, with the um, crossbow, you can actually body, hit a body part, like other than the head, and kill people. Not unless, I think it's the Leon and Claire, if they have to help her. I think everyone else dies. And I'm just saying, no, that's, I, I agree with that. That's that's BS, because number one, I want the satisfaction of killing you one shot with a headshot. Not unless you already took damage, but one shot body with that, that's just, that's way too powerful. Because then, you wouldn't need skill then, and you just hit the body. It's, big part so i definitely do agree with that they need it and i don't know if it's just a problem with ada as a whole i don't know the whole statistics of all the characters with that but obviously with the crossbow one shot body with a virus cancer and 
some games they're hard for me to come by, but most times I can at least get that. Um, yeah, they need to definitely change that. I don't know what they're going to do there, but just want to point that out and get a nice little victory here. But that is going to be it. Let me know if you guys are interested in the Callisto Protocol, and hopefully I can see you guys back in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Have a good day. Peace.